Welcome, Welcome to, the to the most heretical, heretical stream, stream on, the on the internet. I give, I give you, you a Wally, Wally 11669. Hello everyone. Welcome to the stream. Welcome back for Tectonica. Last time we were here, we um I don't remember what we did. It's been almost been like almost a week. What am I supposed to remember? We built some stuff. We did some things. We advanced uh, at least one or maybe both the production terminals to another level, which was uh, which was very useful because it unlocked a bunch of new recipes. And we have some things we need to craft, and then we have some uh, cores we need to stack. Some of our technology cores, our science cores, uh, which we need to build a new area to stack them in, and then. Um, well, we'll see what happens after that because I, I don't know. I, we've, we can always follow the science, right? Always just keep the technology, keep the production terminals upgrading, uh, build what we need to do to do that and whatnot. So let's go ahead and jump into the game. Uh, Batman, also, thank you for coming first. Welcome to the chat. Jump into the game and let's pick up where we left off, which was, if I remember correctly, making Shiverthorn coolant, which is um, this one. Right here, uh, we need iron, limestone, and the Shiverthorn extract. So we have pretty much all of that. We just need to get it all put together properly. Uh, so let's see. You're gonna come, maybe, maybe come this way, or like this, maybe even. Yeah, let's do this, and they'll put the iron over here, like that. And then we can do uh, Shiverthorn coolant here. If I could find it. I remember having a hard time finding this. There it is, right there. Having a hard time finding it the last time. So we need to have a 9.375 iron gears. This makes 37 and a half, so we got plenty. We need 18.75 of the Shiverthorn uh, extract. We should hopefully have that. And we need 75 per minute of the limestone. And we're gonna mine that straight out of here. So uh, let's put up some more floors here and get started on that. Oh, there's some uh, garbage sitting here. Let's clean that up too. There we go. Okay, so I think I made, I did not make any mining drills. Let's see, let's do that real quick. Uh, how much does each one of these do? Assuming they're the same, with um, with iron, with limestone as it is with iron and copper, we're gonna need two of them. Which I guess it doesn't hurt to make two either way. Uh, but then we can do that there, and then we can do another one over here. We can do the same layout as we've been doing with the belts, pulling this one out like that. I'm gonna go right into that. So let's go maybe this way to at least, uh, hmm. You know what actually we could do is this and that, and they come out like this. And that almost is perfect. Like, just like that. Uh, we need 75, so it's going to be two inserters. Two red inserters. There and there. Uh, this can be probably just a yellow, if we wanted to do that to save some power and things. And then we'll need to put this into a box. So we'll put a box down over here. Just my intention all along. Uh, let's put it right here. And then we can do a slow one. No, this is 38 point... 18.75... So that can be a fast one, I think, just to be safe. And then we need to bring the coolant in, which I think I'm just gonna bring straight into here. And we'll do a fast one there. That'll be good. Let's do this to there, or the Shiverthorn uh, extract, rather, into there. Iron comes in to here. We don't need very much of that. Right, we needed nine or something. Nine, so we need nine. So we can just do with a slow one there. Okay, so that's that, and then I just need to get these miners going. So we need a fuel belt here. Uh, so that will come across from here, back this way. Are you okay? Yeah, you're all right. Pull it off of there. And then you need to be long-handed here. That one, and this one. And then outputs are fast here. See, there there and there and that's producing way too much that's producing uh, 120 
We only need 75, but uh, it's better than not enough. So this I'm going to limit to a couple of stacks, probably not even that much really, because I think it probably stacks pretty high. Uh, so probably one is enough, but we'll start with two and then we can always knock it down after I take some. Uh, and then we unlocked the next tier of the production terminal, I think at the very, very end of the stream. And that gives us a whole nother uh, reinforced iron and copper frame stands 100. We could probably bring those over. Conveyor belt marked two. We, we have those being made and we didn't disable it, so we should bring those, build those back over again. And then advanced circuit, uh, we need to set those up yet. So let's put these, um, put these belts back in here, or on a belt, and feed them in here. Yeah, that's not what I want you to do. Uh, come this way, you can go this way. Uh, we're only making um, 187, but not really. Uh, 93 copper, not that might be our limitation. 37, 37 times two. This is 18.75, which is half of that. Yeah, I think we're making about 75. Uh, and then I guess I got to put this here. So we could actually do uh, a double here, like that. And also up here, like this. If I should have gone to those, then it'll be fine. And we can see how many of these we can cram in here before it gets to be too late. How much storage did I leave on this? Oh dear, yeah, we need to fix that. That's a problem. Because they're going to keep adding to this because it pulls from those slots first. In that case, let me take all of these and stuff them in here. And actually, that's all of them already. All right. Never mind then. We're done. We don't need to do that anymore. You. 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 All the way to here. This. Gone. This. Stuff as many of those back in there. I'll keep a few. That's fine. Uh, that works for me. Let's grab... Um, so now we're making this. Again, I don't know how high it stacks, but I'm going to grab a few of them because we're running a little bit low, I think. Yeah. Even by grabbing what we had, I still have only 58. And uh, let's take a look at what the recipe is for those circuits. Because I don't remember what that is either. The circuits here are... Uh, these ones here, van circuits. They need processor units. We know how to make those. Just three. They also need three Shiverthorn coolant. And six... Atlantum to make six circuits. Uh, the processing units we made over here someplace, I think. Just to, instead, instead of trying to set it up, we can just look at what we have. Yeah, here we are. Uh, this makes 37 and a half. We need three. Uh, so we could easily take one of those, one of those, actually it makes uh, 25, because that's limited to 25 right there. And then this needs uh, no, we're limited to 18.75. All right, so we're getting a half speed here, which is which is fine because this only needed 18.75 anyway. If we throttled it to 18.75, that would still give us enough to make like five machines of advanced circuits, which is plenty. Um, because we're not going to need that much. And I don't remember how much Atlantum we're actually making. Uh, how much of the Shiverthorn, uh, the sorry, the cooling systems are we making? Where did I set those up at? Did I take them down? I might have taken them down after I made them. But I needed. I bet you I did, because I have a ridiculous number in here. All right, so we gotta look at that again. So, let's see. Uh, the, the These are gonna need four total machines. This one, that one, that one, and that one back there. Those four total machines. Plus the one for the stuff. And then the Shiverthorn coolant is, um, or cooling systems rather. We needed six of these, so this will make enough for one, which is more than fine. It's gonna need one other machine. All right. So two from one side, four from the other, or from one input, four from the other, and then the output making um, the circuits. 
Okay, so what I think I'm going to do is put, actually, maybe try to put the output here. Like, right up against this. Mm, that might not be good enough, though. Now I gotta, I gotta pull it out more. Gotta pull it out more. Let's go right there. And then let's do... Um, one of the input things here. So you're gonna be... These. Just one of them. And then... Uh, you can be... Yeah, that's what she said. That's what she said. Need to pull it out more? You could probably be these. Maybe. Maybe. This could be processors. Processors have two inputs. Uh, let's go with... And then you're going to have that one. Um, maybe I don't like this as well as I thought I would. I don't. I don't like this at all. Uh, let's do this one. Um, copy that. Let's put this in over here then, maybe. Kind of thinking box go here. Hmm. In that case, I want this here. Let's try this again. Uh, those box can go right here and then this will have two inputs one is going to be I also have to get the Atlantum in here though hmm this may not still not be good uh, let's do this one and that one you will be the smaller of the two which is this one I think you can be the larger of the two which is not that one this one? There's only three of these. I could actually feed two of those machines then. I think I should make two of those. Maybe I should just stop trying to force this directly into the machine and just feed it from the box. That would make my life a lot easier. Yeah, let's just do that. Okay, try this one more time. Uh, let's do two of these. Kind of right in here. Problem is the box, but we'll see what happens. And then you get... Another machine for circuits, but it's gotta be, God, I don't like this still. Well, maybe I do this anyway. Uh, Cause we do need cooling systems for something else. Processor units, wait, do I still have those set up down there? No, I don't. Processor units needs a machine for this machine for that and machine for the other thing ooh that just barely fits wire um electronics electrical components close and then these things those can feed into there and then let's do a separate assembly of these and these issue is you're going to have two inputs oh that'd be f almost fine almost fine 
Am I really off by one tile again? I could probably change this a little bit. Let's see, what do I have those at? Three? Yes, I do. Let's put this there instead, maybe. And then I could do this like that. Perfect. Lazaric, welcome. And then we can do something like that. And we can do something like this, although I'm gonna have to do... Nope, I have to do differently than that. That might be okay. Iron, copper, fiber, atlantum. Into both of those. It's not gonna work either then. This can go, oopsie. This can go here then. And that'll let me have a belt of something in here or out of here. Or out of there. Uh, and then you're good. You're good. Iron and copper in over here as well. This is... Uh, just Shiverthorn cool Or Shiverthorn uh, extract. Hmm. Okay. We'll see what happens. All right, so let's start with Atlantum. Atlantum, I want to come in like this from there, and also in like this from there. And then we have plant fiber, which needs to come in here, which is this one that's empty. That's not good. Uh, iron here. And then copper on top of it. But I'm going to run it next to, and then I'm going to... Not what I want. To fixed height here. Please, snap to, thank you. And then turn in here like this. Oops. Like this. And you can go... Like this. And into that one. You're going to need just a few, so a yellow inserter will be perfect there. You're going to output... Mm, uh, oh, wait. So 25... 37 and a half. Oh, yeah, plenty of room. Okay. Let's do a fast one here, just to be safe. You'll be fast here as well. 18.75... Well, there are a few there. Uh, you're gonna get... Oh, you might need two fast ones, though. Pulling the fast one on me now. Uh, 18.75... Means... It makes two of those. Oh, we're not gonna need that much of this. This will be fine. You. You. And then you. And you. I think that will work, but we really need some more of this plant fiber. See what's going on with that. Is it just... This is full. We need to turn this into limestone. Uh, I think we do that by smelting it, right? And I could feed it this way and into this box. But I don't want... I don't want to do that. So I, I definitely want this to be a priority of what comes out of this box, and also this box needs to get cleaned up. Ouch. All right, we're going to do something here. Uh, take this out. Take this all out of here. Take this. Take that. And then I want to have inputs here and here, here and here from the respective belts. So, 
This one can just go like this. And then I think I could just do... Slow guys out of this. And that'll be enough of a prioritization, I think. That I can do something with it. Over here. Oops. Excuse me. And then I want a couple of smelters, which I don't think I have any made. Nope. I don't know how many I should have, either. Um, well, I need to eat through a good chunk of basically three of these. So I need to eat through like a hundred and something. So whatever that costs me as far as smelting goes. I have fuel here, so that's good. See what this is gonna cost me. Uh, fuel output. Here. Start with two and I'll figure out how many I actually need later. I think I should take the fuel from here though, just in case. So let's take that this way. Bring the bring this out on this side. I think I'm gonna need both input inserters there. This can go this way, and then nope, not there actually. Back by one, here, and it can go to there, and then this will be the output, and it'll go. I misjudged it. Dang it. Actually, that goes away. This goes away. I gotta move all this out by one, off by one. There, here, there. There, there. This goes here, uh, output belt goes here. Fuel belt goes here. Start with one just to see what the number is, but I think it's going to end up being two. You can be an output because I think it's going to end up being that. 120 in, 120 out. Well, we're never going to get that with what we can do here, so we're just going to have to live with whatever one uh... Oh, I'm going to switch these around. Whatever one inserter can do. Um, because we're not going to get it. It's not going to happen. Not until we have... Not until we're making stack inserters. So, well, that means we're just going to need more smelters. Because we're only going to get 40. And we needed to deal with about 100. So, I guess they need only one more smelter. But that's fine. You'll go here. You'll go there. And you can go there. And then we'll just do two of these into this. Uh, you. There. And you. There. Alright, so that will help. It will just take... It will just not make very much. Because we're only doing 40 in, 40 out. Okay, so there's that. And that at least gets some of this going. Although, then two of these aren't fast enough. Nope, not going to be fast enough at all. Going to just have to do fast ones and kind of just hope a little. A little bit of hope. No problem. And that'll make more of the plant fiber. Because we could, in theory, get a little over 100 plant fiber out of this. Um... You're not getting anywhere near enough, but that's all right. And then you need a yellow inserter for Atlantum. You're going to need iron and copper in here. And then also we need to put uh, Shiverthorn Extract in there. 
Let's do copper here and iron over top of it. So you have a fast on iron and a slow on copper. You'll transfer over to this on a fast, just like that. And then you'll output to here. Oh no, you could have been a slow. You'll output to here on a slow. And then you guys are going to need most of that, but not all of it. Uh, let's limit this to just one stack. Oh wait, we need to do something else here first. We need another belt here containing this stuff. That goes to there, and then you need a slow of that. And then I need um, some of this stuff coming out. I think I'll do it here. I think this will work. You need to go all the way up there like that. To here. And then this will be slow and slow. And then long and long. And then slow here. And belt here. How did I not get iron there? Oh, that's why. Crap. Because you can't split... You can't put two splitters next to each other. Uh... Put a fake belt in there. Come up here. Make a turn. Come back. There. I can't do that either. That one. Time for shenanigans again. Uh, wait a minute. Not you. Here. There we go. This can turn, and then this can turn again into there. Take this out, take that out, take that out, and I screwed that up. Alright, there we are. There we go. Make the things. And what's your problem? Now getting processors. What did I screw up and or forget? Is this an iron problem again? Oh, it is. Look at that. You need another inserter. Let's do that. Here we go. Okay, good. And then you're going to make those. And that means that this started, and that should have started too, because it makes four, and they each needed one to craft. Uh, and so they each got two, because the inserters were spinning at the same time. Actually, those could have been slow as well. That's fine. Alright, that'll do. And so then we needed, how many of those? 200. All right, that'll be fine. And I probably have those iron frames and the copper, reinforced iron and copper frames already ready already. Because, yeah. Nice. Good. Signal deciphered. Ingress CB1501. Report to production terminal radio for triangulation. 
Okay, that was the one we had to make an unknown number of advanced circuits in assembler in order to uh, uncover. Signal triangulated. New location added to HUD. Throttle bandwidth. That's not it. There's CB back there. But we do need to go to the freight elevator. And what I want to do when we go there is a couple of things. One, I want to take all this stuff with me. Because we're going to build a large platform out there. Uh, we're going to go this way. Um, I want to build a large platform out there because I need to have space where I can put up all these uh, uh, technology, science, uh, power cores, or cores, I guess. Um, and so I want to do that out here. I thought about doing it in this cave, here by the waterfall, but that's only, it's a rel relatively small area that's very high. And out here by the elevator, like we did the last time in the YouTube series from the previous version, we did a, um, a crap ton of them out here. And this is a better spot because, well, this cave is much bigger and it's still just as tall. The only issue slash questionable thing is all these dang um, fancy mushrooms here. Cauldron giants. But I don't really care. I'm just going to destroy them. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out the rocks that are around here. If I can get them to go away. Am I in tunnel mode? Okay. There we go. Gotcha. Maybe I should unlock in their bigger tunnel mode thingy. through this coolant, that's for sure. Last time I didn't dig down. I just built it on top of all this stuff. But, like, we can build the pillars infinitely tall. Um, so, which I don't think you could do back then. Or maybe, maybe they added that ability while I was playing that last series. Um, but now you can build them as tall as the cave is, so why not do more? And who cares about those uh, big weird mushroom cauldron thingies? Not this guy. Gotta make sure I get all this, uh, all the dirt and rock and things because I don't want little chunks of it like that sneaky one right there uh, causing problems with cores appearing. Or not appearing, as the case may be. Okay. Is that as far as it'll go down? I think so. Yeah, protected area. Now I'm getting some limestone out of this. We are we're leveling it a little bit. Not much, but a little bit. It's protected area because of the water. Because you can't edit too much. Uh, too deep when it comes to the water. Because they're trying to protect the uh, what is always very challenging code to write for every game that I've ever followed. It's water physics. I get it. it makes our lives a little bit easier. I'm not going to complain about that. Just a bit more 
here. Maybe a little bit more than I can clear out eventually, but that should do for now. And then we can just build a crap ton of flooring here. Um, as far over as we kind of want to go, maybe something like this for now. And then we can just build all the floors we want. And build more later. I don't want to run out of what I've got here, so... Being a little bit conservative with it, but not much. And then we just need to power this floor, so I want to take... This one. Uh, no, let's just do this like this. You, one, two, three, four... Five, six, and then this way. And I can do something like this. Like that. And then I need a power thingy, which I don't have made, because I'm a slacker. Uh, where, wait, where's the power stuff again? Here? Here? There it is. One of you, and I can't make the cable. Do I have cable on me? Nope. Oh, I do. I have six of them. I don't just don't see it. There it is. All right, good. Number uh, F6. Let's put this in here. I'm making a lot of stuff to make this stuff. Big Wolf Chris, welcome. Thanks for the raid. Big Wolf Chris is a fellow Red Circuit uh, team member and was playing Captain of Industry. How does it, are you playing the new version already? How does that look? I've seen all the news about it, but uh, I haven't been able to take a look at it or anything yet. That'll take care of this, and then I need one of those floor thingies, one of these things. That'll do nicely. Just go right there. Update two, yes. Good. I haven't played... I don't think I've played since the initial release. Um, on camera. I played a little bit of Update 1 on my own, but I never got time to, to actually play it. I should play again, but there's just so many games and so little time, you know? Yeah, I think it's a good game. Okay, so let's uh, put down a box here. I should have brought the cores I had with me. Put down a box here. Uh, wait a minute, I gotta be careful with this. Way back here someplace. Maybe just tuck it in right there. That'll do. And I don't think I have any of those cores on me. I do not. Crap! Okay. And then we can do a uh, inserter or two out onto a belt here. Go like this. And over to this one. And then that. And then we'll just go get some stuff. Look at some of those cores that I should have brought with. So we have a bunch of them. My inventory is overloaded. I'm encumbered. I'll drop that limestone off in that box. That'll at least be something. All that uh, mining yielded a lot of st uh, stone and stuff. We do this too. Just because it looks dumb. Or that small little gap right there. There we go. I know, you're complaining because you're not getting enough stuff out. It's fine. All of this minus a couple stacks. What else do I have too much of? Too much of a lot of things. Uh, these. All of those minus one stack, I think. And... How do I have so many processor units? I don't know. Okay, uh, cores. That's what we're after.
Almost 300. Not bad. Eventually, we'll actually build that array um, out here. But we'll need to bring in or make locally all the things. So it kind of just depends on... I don't, I, don't have a, I don't have a tunnel there in this game, Wally. I should just dig that tunnel, probably. Um, we could get iron and copper locally. That's not a problem. There's, there's, there's ores. We'd have to set up... Um, the arrays we need for uh, the plant sourced products out here then, or we could ship them in. Um, wouldn't hurt to ship them in, because then we could at least have a rail run, too. Let me go talk to the elevator. Because here's iron, and then the copper nearby is... There's some up above us, up here, which is, I think, what I used the last time. Some over there though, and there's some over here too. So we have we have plenty of copper available. Um, also, I think I used the stuff upstairs. I brought it down. Actually, I remember doing that because we had the crazy li uh, ramps because we don't we didn't have a lift then. Uh, let's see. You can go in there, and then these will just feed into that and just stack them up until they run into that wall that I didn't finish editing away. Let's go talk to the elevator. Actually, I think it's over here. Oh, we gotta repair. Okay, repair the elevator first. This needs 1,200 megajoules. Uh, that we, we might be able to. Into this thing. We should be able provide to provide it to another sector. Yes. Hopefully, we will find other more established areas of the expedition still intact. Though I fear that this collapse has most likely spread. Even so, we might find other people who got left behind. Nobody deserves to be alone in a place like this. I'll change this no. one. But until we can contact command, our primary mission to industrialize this world remains. Sector by sector, if necessary. Sir, with all due respect, don't you think rescuing the crew has to come first? I do not. We are on a mission to return resources to Earth that will impact the lives of billions. It is greater than any of us. But even so, look at all we have built to come this far. These factories are what have enabled us to augment the signals, open the doors, and discover the tools that have made it possible to learn everything we could. Soon, the electricity of those same machines will power this freight elevator and hopefully carry us one step closer to the truth. I will not pretend to share your priorities, Sergeant. Oh, wait. But Sorry. I can assure you they are intertwined. Fine. We'll build the factories. Especially if it helps us dig people out of the tin cans they sent us down here in. But huh. if it comes down to choosing between a life and a lost cause, I know where I stand. I will tell you when all is lost. For now, we must remain focused on the restoration of this elevator. Also, the Excalibur was not a tin can. All right, so now we can repair the freight elevator. We have enough charge. Well, the first stage. And now we have to provide it with a bunch of crap. Iron frames, copper frames, and advanced circuits. Power restored to EFES freight elevator. Awaiting executive level security authorization. Handing this one over to you, sir. Do not be concerned. System, receive authorization, Zeta 17. Request denied. Authorization restricted to flag officers. That should not have occurred. Flag officers. Wait, I remember them. Pacific did this? Please, I need a moment to concentrate. A memory is taking form. System, receive Phoenix Protocol Omega-15. Stand by. Confirming planet-wide eligibility. Phoenix protocol confirmed. Freight elevator initialized. Fulfill production quota to operate. A production quota? Yes. Yes, I remember now. Sir, are you alright? The quota is unbreakable, Sergeant. We must fulfill it to proceed. Sir, that isn't the point. 
These elevators aren't supposed to have quotas that prevent them from moving. This is captivity. This is not what the expedition was about. There's no need to reach conclusions prematurely. It may be that this quota was instituted to compensate for catastrophic loss of production elsewhere. Or everywhere. If the loss was that catastrophic, our crew could be in trouble in any sector. Anywhere. Yes. And we are standing before the only way to reach them. Groundbreaker, you will show this quota what I know you are capable of. Proceed. Local signal deciphered. Unknown. Report to production terminal radio for triangulation. Okay. That's the exclamation point there. Uh, CB. I'm trying to remember which door this is. Which part of the system this is. So I'm going to go that direction and see if we can take a look at it. Ah, something to scan though. MDR power trim three. That makes mining drills a little cheaper. There might have been more stuff upstairs too, but we'll get that later if it is so. Uh, where am I at? Oh, uh, this is the one that's down there. So this leads me nowhere because I could cut through it, but mm, I could cut through it, I guess. There's uh, some limestone down here. Can I cut? Actually, can I cut through this? Yeah, we can cut through this. Here we are. And here's CB. 50 Atlantum. We've got most of that already, and we can bring more. And we need to, make, we need to automate high voltage cable. Uh, for CB, and I can't remember. CB is, um, I think it's the the barracks. I think B is barracks, but I don't remember what the the, the C is. Citizen barracks or company barracks or something like that. Either way, a lot of uh, plant life here we can harvest if we do want to set up those arrays elsewhere. We have plenty of stuff accessible to do so. I hear you pinging. Oh, except that it's a radio that I need to talk to. There. Signal triangulated. New location added to HUD. No additional data. Hey, Grand Lurker. Just a few things to scan in CB? Yeah, I thought so. Uh, so, question marks over there. I do remember what that is. Uh, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. How are you doing, Grand Lurker? How are we at? Where are we at with these, by the way? 240. Nice. Let's go feed those in here and unlock the next tier already. Already, already, already. Doing great. Good. So the next tier is more iron frames, reinforced iron frames, reinforced copper frames, uh, relay circuits we don't know how to make yet, conveyor belt mark two again, and mining charges. We'll need to set those up again. New technologies and recommended tasks available. Um, we could look at what we want to take up here. Semi-machine speed, probably. Couldn't hurt. Biodensity. We should definitely take that. We need to do redo that calculation. Shiver throw and neutralization. I will take, but not right now. Not right now. The circuits are unlocked in X-ray. Okay. Uh, pack size they could take whenever. Hauler cap. We should probably do that at least so that the monorail doesn't run as often. Conveyor belts. I'm going to skip that. Uh, those. This. Crank generator mark two. Definitely going to take that. Accumulation three and increases accumulator charge. We should definitely have that one. Uh, high voltage cable reach. We'll do that one too as well. Sure. Um, power amp. 
We should do that one too. And now I'm out of blue cores here right now. Uh, we'll take a look at that crank generator recipe, but... Um, yeah, I kind of spent Advisory. most of everything I wanted to do. All major sector assets have been reactivated. Remaining production terminal upgrades will be limited to the yield of extreme advancements in productivity. Mm-hmm. You're going for it, huh? Nice. Nice. I only have 30 more picked up, so I'm not even going to bother hauling them out there. Let's take a look at that uh, crank generator recipe. Uh, Mark II recipe. I should be automating that stuff anyway. Uh, those as well as... Um, Let's see, crank generators themselves, eight of them, plus relays. Okay, so we have to get relays going before we can do that, and electric motors. So we need to work on x-ray then. But I should automate some of these things, but I don't think we need to do either of those right now, given the, how much power we have. And then we also should do... Um, oh, the cables, these cables that we need. The problem is freaking plant matter. Um, where's Plant Matter doing okay now? It's doing okay. Actually, that's the holdup probably for Blue Chorus too, because we're using that out here. Yep, that's the holdup for Blue Chorus. We need more plant fiber. Really? More? Means I need to turn... Come on, jump. You turn more of the sticks into plant fiber then, I guess. But the issue is going to be, as always is, the speed of this. We are just not using enough of this stuff yet. Alternate production chain for plant fiber and plant matter. Um, that's in the Mark II's though, right? If I remember correctly. And Mark II's need relay circuits. And I don't even have the threshers yet here. Uh, synthesis. Relay circuits as well. <laughs> Let's see. Plant matter fiber from plant matter. Okay. Plant matter from plant matter fiber. We don't care about those necessarily. The only ones I remember are the ones that are only available in... as alternate recipes in... only in the Mark IIs, though. I definitely don't want to make that stuff into dirt. So for thermal buzz neutralized, which is made into plant matter bricks, they make trashed into fire. Oh. Ah. I gotcha. Okay, so, yeah, so making the alternate recipe for a shiver thorn, but that's got to be done in a Mark II. You can only do those alternate recipes in the Mark IIs, from what I remember reading. But, even so, we could thresh the um yeah what, what building what table or what uh, machine are they made in then uh, 
of these is two minutes. That's... You could take more of these here. Also... Yeah. Are you sure they're not just made in a, um... Mark II? Because I'm pretty sure you can't pick those other recipes here. In the Mark I. Because they should be listed here if you could. And they're not. So, I don't think you can. Shiver Thorn Buds Neutralize is made in an assembler. Mark II. I don't have that here. And I have the recipe unlocked because that's, um... Uh... Oh, here it is. Shiver Thorn Neutralization. That's the one you're talking about. Okay, so I need to unlock it. So we do need to take those cores out and stack them up. Then what's the recipes, the alternate recipes that are only available in the Mark II assemblers? Because I know there's only there's some that are only available there. Let's go stack these up. Alternate bio brick recipe is? Oh, okay. There's there's more than that though. There's quite a few that are only in the Mark II. Ah stuck. And then I can probably automate those cables. And then Um and then we can figure out what else we want to automate. Alright, you. There you are. I mean, actually, then we need to work on x-ray, I think. Okay. I'm going to head back, and we'll automate those cables. Because uh, we should have some more fiber, or at least we'll have more fiber coming, if we don't have it already. By the time we get back here, that'll probably have those, most of those, at least 20 of those loaded in. Doesn't take long. Oh, got to unlock it now. There we go. Okay, so that one is this one, which takes in Shiverthorn Buds and Kindle Vinyl. That's good. And it gives us more Buds. Yeah, so it's a Bud Multiplier, basically. No, wait. There's different kind of Buds? Those are a different kind of bud. Neutralized buds. And then neutralized buds get threshed. I assume. Actually, it was here, wasn't it? On uh, the technology thing. Neutralized, made into... Oh, you made it into plant matter bricks. Um, and then you thresh the plant matter bricks to make fiber. All right, so let's test this out. So we want to put in these thingies. Just take all of those. Let's just do some testing here. Put in a buttload of those. That'll spit out these. These get stuffed into another assembler. Make in this one. Once you make in 45, that'll be good then. Stuff those in there. I'll 
do some math on this too, just to see what the ratio is. How to neutralize, make two bricks in the assembler. Oh, a hundred. Yeah, so we're gonna consume. All right, I gotta turn off some of those, uh, some of these check boxes here. I'm gonna uncheck the Victor one because it's gonna be a while before we get to that again. Uh, that'll be better. Um, yeah, almost a hundred per minute to make almost two per minute of that. Uh, this is making 45, so it's going to be a bit for that. So we want two of those to one of these, basically. If we want it running non-stop. And then we thresh... Thresher. These into that. Two to one ratio, like that. Just about there. Oh, gotta wait for you to craft now. And you're gonna take forever to craft. But I do still need these going. So this will have to be a split for if we do this. Or on the end kind of thing. Where are you at? Not even halfway yet. Here, have a little more. Now we can't uh, use it. don't have it to use, I mean. Okay, you're just about done with those two. Probably need to fix that uh, description there. Okay, X-ray once after... After, uh, after unlock the X-ray access to stack consider? I think we did. Last time, didn't we? This takes one per minute and makes 200... No, 200... How does that work? 250 per minute. Uh, I'll put... Oh, is that because of the threshing bonus? I think so. So we're going to be making... If we if we can feed this in at that rate, which I don't think we quite can, uh, we're making 37 per minute for that. But we could feed that into this, and then we can make about a third of that. It's so about 15... Which means we'll be making one of these about every six minutes, or two of these rather, about every six minutes. Um, and then two of these will yield 500 fiber every six minutes. So that's another 80, 90, whatever it is, uh, fiber per minute. We could use that. But we're not going to use all of it because uh, some of it's still going to go this way. Uh, so you're saying x-ray upgrades. I think we did... We had to get relay circuits upgraded, but I think you're talking about stack inserters. I think we might already have those. We do. I just need to set them up. So that's something else we could build yet. Uh, already. So you're basically done. I'm just going to leave this here as an example. No, you only made 200. I think you're drunk. Yeah, you're only making 200. I don't know where that 250 comes from. Unless it's a little bit faster than a minute, it might be, um, whatever, 40, 50 seconds or whatever. No, 40, eight seconds. But it's still showing only one per minute consumed. There's, there's a, there's a rounding issue here is where I'm, what I'm getting at, because it can't, Consume one to make 200, and also consume one per minute to make 250 per minute. The math doesn't work out. 
So there's a it's it's consuming 0.8 per minute or uh, 1.2 per minute to make 250 per minute. That's kind of the idea. It's it's running it's running a little bit faster than one cycle per minute. All right, so we'll we'll build this um, maybe down there in the end. Yeah, we can do it down there in the end. The big issue is, yeah, I need stack inserters. I need to make some. I have six of them. Maybe this is the best place to use them here. Um, and then we can do the rest. So let's take this down. Because we're not going to use it here. That's the that's the skinny there. Uh, and then let's take... Uh, let's see. Let's do one, two, three of the stack inserters here. Number five. Input. Input. Output. And we're stacking right now at three. Uh, we'll need to do... We need to find this stack cap two. Uh, we could find it on the GD map, I suppose. Um, and then we can do more. And then we can do some of this too. So let's do a, uh, an assembler. Down here. This one will take in those things plus the... Uh, other things. Uh, to make this... Not going to connect it up yet, but we'll put the belts in place here. Uh, we're only going to have, what was the number again? Four right now, at least. 38, so we'll want two inserters here. Or we could do a stacker, but if I can do two, then I'm just going to do two. Someone play, made the replacement. Oh, I did make the replacement tool. I forgot about it. That's on me. Uh, and then you need, uh, if we're making 38, 37 and a half, you're using three times that much, this is where you might want to stack inserters, right here. But for now, I'm just going to do a bunch of slow guys. Uh, and then we can do this. What if... What if I did this... And then this. I just forgot about that. Those two. Uh, three of these should do. And then I can do some more of this stuff. Uh, oh, I need more floor. Need more floor. Not that. Here. Come on. Uh, 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 uh. Here. That goes into the other assembler. Making these. Oh, I gotta connect this belt up. Dur. Let's do that. So you're gonna put half of that, so one of the, one red will be fine here. And then you're going to output almost nothing here. And then you're going to take... You're going to get, what I said, 400 every six minutes. So that's... 60-something per minute, so that's two reds. And that'll go over there someplace. Where's that go? That goes into here. Yeah, that goes into there. So we'll do... This. And then this. And then... This. That'll take a while. Okay, so that'll do... I also had to figure out how the replacement tool works, so I haven't even played with it yet. Now we could do... Um, 
Need more Kindle Vine extract because I gave it all away. I can have some of that. Yeah, this can't even keep up. Draining here. At least I have these bypasses now, so. That works kind of good. Alright. Uh, so, um. Inserter. That's what we're doing. Looks more of those, Joe. What am I out of now? Iron. Wait. Yeah, iron. Okay. Uh, stack inserters. These take reds and motors. Electric motors take what? Put that one in the wrong spot. Steel, electric frames, and ceramic parts. Stuff we haven't made yet. That's why I haven't made them yet. That's why. So we have steel, of course, but uh, the electric frames... are iron frames, copper frames, and wire spindles. Wire spindles can be made from copper wire or copper slab. Wow. Um, so right now we'd have to make it out of copper wire because we don't have copper slabs going yet. And then the ceramic parts... Did I not unlock them yet? I may not have. Made from clay. They're made in a smelter. There they are. And clay is made from dirt. So I have them unlocked. Uh, that's limestone brick. I wish it told you where these things were made. It would be useful. Hmm. Uh, yeah, you can make dirt from a couple of things. I think that was made here actually in a similar, right? I can make it from either plant matter or plant matter fiber. Uh, maybe some other things, too, if we look around at stuff that I haven't unlocked yet, maybe. No, just those. It's a bummer. It wouldn't be in any of those, so it must be just that. At least so far. So where is... Go and unlock these purple core things, why the heck not? So where, where's clay and ceramics made? It must be smelted. That kind of makes sense, I suppose. Uh, I do have one more smelter here. Let's test this out. If I stuff some dirt... I think I have dirt. Don't I have dirt? I have dirt, so they're not... Clay's not made here. Did I miss it? What else could be made in? 
Thresher? No. I might have missed it. I don't see it. It's a single item, so it'll be a single dot. But I'm not seeing it. Can I go into this and see it? Play is made in assembler. Then maybe it's an assembler mark two? Oh, right there. I'm just blind. All right, 10 dirt makes 10 clay. And then ceramics are smelted, I think. Yeah. All right. We don't need to keep making it, though. I'll just process through what I have in my hand. Yeah, unfortunately, you can't make it out of Kindlevine Extract, because I have a crap ton of that. This is 10 to 5. Okay. So, that is a pain. 30 ceramics, which means we need 6 smelters to make 30 motors, and we basically need that if we wanted to make those non-stop, which we could do. Diabolical, welcome. Dad joke, huh? Why did the employee get fired from the keyboard factory? Why did the employee get fired from the keyboard factory? Iron. Iron. He wasn't putting in enough shifts. once before. There we go. Alright, so ceramic's a pain in the ass. That's why I haven't done stack inserters yet, because ceramic's a pain in the ass. Um, I vaguely recall you used to be able to put miners up against a regular wall and actually extract dirt and or other things from it, but I don't know if that's the case anymore. Maybe I'm thinking of a different game. That could very well be. This is not gonna let me put it here. Or will it? Maybe it will. If I put down the right flooring. No, it just yields nothing. Okay, never mind. Hmm. So yeah, you have to. You don't. Yeah, but you don't get it unless you're using your mole, so it doesn't count. Um, so the only thing you can actually use a mining drill for is actual metal or actual deposits. All right, so we have to then turn either this stuff, which we have a lot of, or this stuff, which we this not that stuff. This stuff here, which we do now have more of, but not enough of. Have you made any yet? I don't think you've made any yet. Because the problem now is getting enough Kindle Vine in to make enough... Yeah. Oh, I should throw these in here because I'm not going to use them for anything. Hmm. 
Mark II assemblers, I think, were also relays and electric motors. So either way, I've got to get the electric motors and the relays figured out. And I can't get the relays until I get the next level of um, of uh, x-ray here. So maybe we should just go focus on that instead of all this other shenanigans. Can make the slab and the freaking ceramic parts. All right, well, let's go over to X ray and work on that stuff then, because I think that's the better spin of our time. Should have brought the um, cores with me, whatever cores we had. You know what I didn't do? I didn't set up the freaking cables, though, to be made. Maybe we should actually do that. Yeah, let's do that. Change my mind again. It's my prerogative. Because that'll get us into CB, which we can get some stuff to scan in there. And then at some point, we need to um, fix the freight elevator, which we basically need to start uh, making frames again. Iron and copper frames again. 2,500 of each. So for that, I'm going to want to do that local. Um, okay, so let's do this here. And we're going to do one assembler making... cables. I don't know how this is sorted, but I don't know that it makes any sense. And that means we need plant matter frames and copper wire coming into that. Uh, one of them I will do on the side. Uh, 45 of each. You. Oh, which one of these is better? Eight fiber or five stems? Probably the stems. Why am I only making that from fiber? The problem is, is I don't have the stems on the belt. I have a mixed fuel belt on the, on the bus. Then I have to bring a specific stem thing down. But I could do that. Because I have a ridiculous amount of stems. Here. And I don't have a ridiculous amount of fiber here. I have more than I had before. But maybe I should use the stems. I think I should use the stems. So, in that case, I need another belt here. Which means I'm running out of space again. Unless I just did these upstairs, but then I need to bring copper upstairs. How much do you make? 22 and a half. You need 45, so you would technically need two of those anyway. If I wanted to make those that fast, which I don't really. What's the copper recipe look like again? You need 45, you make 22. Alright, we're just going to do this at half speed then. Screw it. That takes 90 per minute of that, or... 18.75 per minute of that. Uh. Oh, it's five to make four as well, and this is only two. Yeah, we should switch. Should switch. And I'm going to do this with those, though. And they're going to go wherever they go down there. Um, because, uh, yeah. This, and then we can do... Oops. Uh, down belt. On top of that. 
that. And then they can come out like this. Let's do this here. Yeah. Just like that. 18.75. That'll be a, put a fast boy in there. And then that's going to make 15. We need... Alright, that's fine. That's still fine. 22 and a half. Put a fast boy in here. Put a fast boy in there. And I'm just going to call it that good enough. You'll be... Slow boy. And then we just need a copper belt coming in here. Like this. And that's a slow one as well because the ratio there is really good. Alright, so our limitation is going to be 15 of those. So about seven and a half per minute of the cables. Yep. Go get my cores for the second time for getting them. Ninety. And then also I want to grab these. Those are for the freight elevator. We can set up some iron smelting and copper smelting um, at the freight elevator and feed those in. But circuits are a little bit more complicated and I'll just hand feed them in. So yeah, copper's up there, iron's down over there. We could easily bring some of that in here and just start smelting it. Or, even potentially even better, we could bring it down from up here. Since we're not really using it up here anyway. And we gotta do this blast mining to make those slabs. Although, I don't know what that's gonna end up with exactly. Uh, slabs. How do we make those again? Is that the blast smelting? Where's the slabs at? Synthesis. Here they are. Chunks. Blast smelting. What's the blast smelter cost? Ceramic. Alright, ceramic it is. Uh, we're going to set it up out here, though. Uh, let's see this uh, stairway here. Thank you. So we gotta turn something into dirt, which we have plenty of plant fiber out here we could turn into dirt. What happened here? Oh, shiver thorns backed up because... Oh no, we're gonna turn that into dirt. All this freaking uh, plant, plant matter. That we're gonna turn into dirt. Okay. Uh, let's build another bit of floor here. Maybe not that much floor, but maybe that much floor. Uh, except that that was there. Doesn't need to be. 
Doesn't need to be. Then let's do uh, dirt from this stuff. That makes 300 per minute. And then we can turn that into clay. 300 per minute. If I can find the clay, there it is. It needs a third of that, but that's fine because we're not actually making 600 of this per minute. We're making... I don't even know how much. Whatever I said earlier. Probably still true. And then we need smelting of that... I've already forgotten what the smelting cost was of that also. The clay. Ten clay becomes five. Ceramic. Seventy-two to thirty-six. And then we needed ceramic to make... Yeah. Alright. Uh, 72 means... 72 means... 144. Yeah, I'm just going to do this one to one to one right now. Uh, four right now. Kind of a, a bit of a temporary build, but... Uh, I'm going to feed a bunch of these in here. That'll be fine, although I could swipe that for fuel however I wanted. Um... That's going to be an inserter of 72, which is two of these. And then this will be a bunch of... And then that'll be even more of a bunch of... Belt. This way. Nope. This way. This way. At least two of these. At least... All right, this is, uh, we're making 37 and a half, really times three, because the fourth one is just there for processing speed. Um, so whatever that is, 100 and change, 112 or something. Again, these could be stacked, but I don't have very many left. I have three left. Alright, so you're going to take 72 at most. So two of those should be fine for this. Which means that we want to have uh, three of these. Three of these, because that's as much as we are producing anyways. And that'll just be what it'll be. And then this will go out into a box for right now, which I don't have any made. Logistics? Yeah. Okay, so each uh, blast smelter is going to cost me 20. And we also need blast mining, although we do have two of them. You haven't filled that up yet, that's good. And you presumably haven't filled this one up yet either. Which is good. Well, I'm assuming it'll stop when they actually do fill that up. But I don't know. And then we can try we can check out the blast melting. Do we have twenty of these yet? Oh yeah. Barely, but yeah. That's forty, that's enough for two. If wait. No, that's just ceramic. These are ceramic tiles. Those are made in an assembler. I saw them here. Ten ceramic makes two tiles. <laughs> okay. Well then. Uh, there you go. Have some ceramic. Oh, I had this stuff from earlier too. I forgot. Uh, let's do this then. 
You can just be limited to a single stack, I think, of that. And then let's do uh, this. And then that. We'll be fine. And now we've eaten through all the backlog, and now we wait. Twenty. One of these. <laughs> Blast radius awarded for the construction of explosive industrial technologies. So this is another thing where I have to actually input these very slowly. But I need to actually produce twice as many then. If I'm going to do blast mining. Or blast smelting, I mean. We're barely producing enough of these as is. So I'm going to need to do this differently then. Okay, all right, let's see. Oops, I did I did a oopsie. Um, you and do that. How much will you detonate if I feed it all? Actually, don't do that then. If I stuffed all this in there. One, two, three, was it? Hmm. Uh, BSM multi blast. A smelter gives 4x a given semantic or blast if sufficient raw materials are supplied when the mining charge detonation occurs. So I only need one mining charge. Yeah, but I was thinking it would be the similar to the to the. Uh, sorry, one yeah, one mining charge. I was thinking that it would be similar to this, where if you provided enough uh, last mining charges, then you would get more chunks. I was thinking it was similar to this, but it's not. It's um, if you have enough raw materials, you get multi blast per single item like that. So let's do this. Yeah, eight just gave four. I'll think about that. So we need one mining charge, one and only one mining charge every 12 seconds.
at most. This is producing 22 and a half per minute. That means we're feeding 11 and a quarter to each blast miner per minute. No, sorry, we got two of these. So we're feeding 22 and a half per minute to each one. So we're feeding one every two and two, th oops, two and two thirds second. And you're blasting every 12 seconds, so you should be getting 12 divided by 2.67. You should be getting like four or five each blast then. Sometime, most of the time four, sometimes five, or every other time, or whatever. Yeah. And if you were to get five, then we would get three chunks. But we're only getting four, so we're only getting two chunks. All right. It pulled three more out of that. So that I can have eight. One hour chunk of beef thrashed to 25 ore. Yeah, but in order to make the plates uh, for the slabs, we have to have, we have to be blasting them. Um, and we need 50 of each slab for the x-ray research. I have 31 now. So, if I'm getting four, I need five, I need 40 more. Like that. And then you can have that. So if I need only one every 12 seconds, that's five per minute, which means that I need to have a separate, ugh. This is a hassle. So I'd want to have one array or line or whatever we we'll get some more um, iron chunks. I need to have a hundred of them. And I have wherever the number was. Sixty three. There you go. Just going to use the same one. Because you need to, depending on how much actually blast melting you're doing, which I don't know how much you would actually do, but depending on how much blast melting you're doing, you'd have to be careful how you belted in these blast charges if you didn't want to waste any. You'd want to do an even split as opposed to, um, uh, what should I call it? A, uh, manifold. And you'd only want to ship in five per minute. Per smelter. Whereas for the mining, you want five chunks in... You want 25 chunks a minute.
per miner. Or, uh, charges, I mean. To get three chunks times five, so 15 chunks a minute out. Yeah, but the, the issue is I don't want... If you have a line, I don't want the first smelter to be blasting them like crazy and the last one never to get any. That's the concern that I have. And that's what'll happen if you do a... Um, if you do a manifold. Then the last one in the line won't get very many, if any. Well, the first one's just wasting them. It's not about... It's not, it's not as much about saving mining charges. It's about saving wasted mining charges when you could be using them for something else. How did I end up with the wrong number here? Oh, because I have to have... Yeah, it's fine. This will be fine. This last one I just blast... Um, Uh, these four into two, I think. Right? Should be. Yeah. Okay, so we got those. We got those, and we need 100 ceramic parts, which it means I should have stopped. And I didn't. I should have stopped the ceramic slabs from getting made. Because we don't have any ceramic parts in here. Uh, so let's turn this off. Pull those out. Put these back in here. We need a hundred of those. What's over here? You and you. How did I end up with that? Whatever. One extra. Uh huh. So, ooh, I didn't want to do that. I messed that up. Okay. Uh, so. Iron slabs, copper slabs. What are they used for? Besides construction, which is where a lot of iron slabs go. Electrical set. Gearbox. Iron mechanism. Those could all be made out of iron slabs and or... You can thrash the slab into ingots if you want. Threshable... Oh, the slab makes 25 ingots. Okay. So, you said that one... Um... One chunk makes 25 ore. Or one slab makes 25 ingots. But 25 ore makes half that many ingots. And so two chunks make one slab. That means that 50 ore from two chunks. Makes exact same amount of ore. Or back to the exact same amount of planks. Uh, uh, ingots, then. Um, because... Yeah, so... So two chunks make one slab. Two chunks makes 50 ore. One slab makes 25 ore. 50 ore makes... 25 ingots. So... It all comes out even in the wash. It just depends on if you want to spend where you want to thresh, which doesn't really matter, because you're still threshing 1 to 25. Um, I guess it kind of matters, because you would need twice as many threshers to thresh chunks as you would to thresh slabs. Assuming that much volume. Um, and you either need to use fuel or mining charges, depending on which, where, when you, when you thresh.
What about copper slabs? What do those make? Catwalk, we don't need. Copper mechanism, gearbox, we knew about. Construction, construction, wire spindle. But wire spindle can be made from... Wire as well. So, the threshing recipes just give you a little bit simpler construction. Uh, sorry, the, um, the slab recipes just give you a little bit simpler construction. You don't have to use them. But, turning two slabs into a wire spindle... For example, two copper slabs into a wire spindle versus turning a hundred wire into a copper spindle. And a hundred wire Hundred wire is uh, let's see one to six, so that's about sixteen ingots versus two slabs. No, it's not because two slabs make six. 3x recipe. So 16 would be 48. Two slabs would be 50. Alright, it's, it's basically a wash. It's basically a wash, whether, uh, just for that one thing at least, with wire spindles, whether you use slabs or wire. Um, just the slabs are a lot low quantity. Okay. Um, just gotta kind of decide what I want to do, though. That's the issue. That's the issue I always have. I have also a bunch of this crap in my inventory. I'm gonna give it to you, because I don't want it. Although, you're not getting any gravel anyway. Why not? Because we're not feeding in... Whatever the heck we were threshing to make gravel. Because I never actually set it up. This was the... I have gravel in my inventory too, though. There you go. Have some stuff. Okay, so this is, man, this is kind of tough. We have the ceramic kit because I know what I want to do there. Let's unlock the next. Oh, yeah, we got plenty. Unlock the next thing. While I'm thinking. Upgrade. Alright, so this gives us relays and You're headed into the final tier more. of PT X ray breaker. Steel which slabs. Means you now have access to the advanced steel cycle and a few other new ways to get things done. Blasting drill multi blast four. Ten mining charges would give us four chunks. Three mining charges gives us five, two gives us three, and initially you get one for one, I think? So that's worth it. It's always worth it. Uh, so we need ten mining charges in twelve. Yeah, it's, it's just, it's really... Yeah, it's really, really... 6x a given semantic per blast of sufficient raw materials. This is 4x. Okay, so it's normally eight makes one. We got eight makes two. This would make eight makes six. That's better. Basic forging. 
Last melting of iron ingots and copper ingots into iron slabs and copper slabs. Okay, so this is the opposite. We can forge them back in from ingots into slabs here, too. Uh, this is where we get the threshing, by the way, here. So I need to unlock that. We have carbon powder here from plant matter bricks, plant matter fiber, plant matter, and plant matter frames. We'll need that for steel. Uh, steel mixture, which we need for the next tier here. So I'm going to go ahead and unlock it. Shiver thorn, carbon powder, and iron ore powder. We get iron ore powder from what? Threshing something or other? I think. Somewhere in... Something I was doing. Showed me the iron powder recipe. But I think it was, uh, it must have been threshing of iron or something. Making steel slabs is a multi step process that is going to require a decent amount of coordination and blast smelting. But I have confidence Fresh in it. Fresh powder. And if you don't have the advanced circuits you'll need to make those relay circuits, it might be time to head back to PT Victor for a while. Yeah, we've got them. Task inbound. Forging. Enables blast smelting of ingots into slabs and deconstruction of slabs into ingots via thresher. Processor array. Wait, did I... Not unlock the relays? Thought I did. Am I just missing them again? There they are. Yes, I was. Okay, so they're direct from circuits to relay, so those are easy to make. We can make those easily enough. And it's, um... Holy crap. Steel cycle. A hundred steel makes two. Slabs by blast smelting of steel mixture. Refer to metal powder technology for additional guidance. Alright, well we can make relays. Which is kind of what I was waiting for to some extent, but man, 100 makes two. We're going to have to make a crap ton more uh, advanced circuits. A crap ton more. Look at that again. This is insane. One of these makes seven and a half per minute. One of these needs a hundred per or a hundred to make two, or hundred and eighty seven and a half to make three point seven five. That means we have to make 187.5 divided by 7.5. 25 of these machines. Just to keep relays going at 3.75 per minute. Is that real? That's obscene. Am I missing something? Mega factory lines for sure, yeah. Because then after that, so if I had to make 25 of these, that means they're gonna need to have 3.75 times 25, which is 93.75 processors per minute. That's here. 93.75 processors is, to be fair, about two factories worth. That's not bad. Not good. It's not bad. 
which is, but it's still insane uh, that two of these will be able to feed 25 of the other ones to feed one of the third ones. Um, and that's, of course, assuming that we aren't going to need any of the intermediary ingredients for any other reason, which you know we're going to. So that means we have to make even more of each one of those. Yeah, Mark II. Yep. Yeah, if you're going to build a big array like that, you're going to want to do... You're going to want to do Mark IIs. Um, but we need... Jeez, while well, I press the right buttons. We need the relays, which won't be bad. The electric motors... Eh. Um, oh, the electric motors have to be made in an assembler. They have to be made in an assembler. Okay. And then, for that, you need 45 frames, which we could do, you know, a combination of different frames. Um, but that's a crap ton of fiber or stems. That's, um, sorry, we need 90 frames, 93.75 frames, which is... Divided by 15 times 18.75, 117 twigs, or, and or, three hundred seventy-five fiber. Yeah, I would do a mini line for sure. I would even, maybe even almost handcraft things, or you know, do a temporary line like we did with uh, what you call it up there. It's just I'm just complaining. <laughs> um, 375 fiber or 100 and 108, 117 twigs to make enough of those, and then we need also 93.75 of the electronics. Which is going to be three and a bit of those, which means 93.75 cable. That's not so bad. And half that, so whatever that is, 47 um, iron ingots. I didn't mean handcraft, I meant direct craft, like um, direct feed, hand feed into assemblers to craft them. Yeah, because it's two to one. Yeah, you definitely, yeah. Uh, definitely don't want to handcraft, handcraft. Hand feed, I meant. And then, from there, we need... what else? Um, Three point seven five cooling units. So 25 times 3.75 is 93.75 cooling units. That's eight of these. 93.75, yeah, eight and a third. I mean, yes, Mark II's would be faster, but um, that means we need 93.75 of the um, each of those two things. And that means that we need to have another 93.75 iron and half that, so 47 copper. And then we need to have 187.5 Atlantum. Almost a full Mark One belt of Atlantum. That's quite something. Okay, I think the next task to do is to finish the um, 
the assembler, uh, the, the freight elevator. And for that, we need a crap ton of iron frames and copper frames. Now, I have the iron here because we're not really using it for anything. So I could, because we don't have steel going. So I could easily make uh, the iron frames here. Um, copper, though, I'd have to set up some regular miners here, which we could do. We could do that. Um, or we could thresh... Well, we could thresh this, too, I suppose. We could thresh this, uh, this stuff here. Into... Um, into ore and then smelt it the old-fashioned way. Maybe we should just do that. So, let's see. What do I have for equipment and gear here? Um, I need a thresher. At least one. And then I need to set this up into a smelting column, which means probably just right here. That means I need to put down more floors yet. Even so, probably. All right, so you put this up here, that there, yeah, right there. Uh, give me a stack of those. And you're gonna thresh this how fast? Oh, I gotta get rid of that gravel then, too. Oh, that's right, that's what I was gonna do with those things. Uh, in that case, give me this back. I'm just gonna run that belt over here and do what I was going to do. Uh, gravel was coming out of here. How fast is that? Six per minute? A little built up on concrete here, though. Forgot about the gravel. That's why you don't want to thresh these. That's why you want to thresh the, uh, that's why you want to blast smelt and thresh the slabs. Unless you need the gravel. Which, gravel's not that useful, I don't think. Only used by concrete. So unless you're going to use a crap ton of concrete, which only is used for building materials, which so we're not, we don't need the gravel. So I don't want, I don't want to do this. Nope, I don't want to do this. Uh, where'd you go? Copper, there you are. Because I don't want all that gravel. So I definitely do not want to thresh those. If I'm going to thresh, I'm going to blast melt and then thresh the slabs. Which means we need to blast melt. Alright, so I need to figure out that possibility then too. Uh, so I need to have... Ugh, give me another step here. I need to do this differently then. Because you need. You're producing 22 and a half, so we're getting 45. Each one of you is getting 22 and a half. So you need a little bit more. Because you need to have five. At least five chunks every 12 seconds. So you need to make 25, not 22 and a half. You need the same, and then the blast smelting would need just a small portion of that. One copper ore. One copper chunk. Eight makes six. That means that
we really only need one blast smelter. Because we're getting six every 12 seconds. That's 30 per minute times 25. Yeah, we only need one blast smelter. If only I could somehow limit that to only give me f one every 12 seconds. Five per minute instead of the uh, these assemblers, which are 20 per minute. Hmm. I'm going to have to think about this. How I want to handle this. Because, I mean, I, I in one way I'm tying myself up in knots about it. On the other hand, I don't want to waste it when I can use it somewhere else. That's the issue. I, I just don't want to just burn through something that I can use for something better. But I'm just going to have to think about how I want to handle this before uh, Saturday. And we'll come back then and we'll figure out what we're going to do about it. But for now, we're going to leave this here, and uh, because my voice is going anyway, and it's also past 11.30, and we'll find ourselves a raid target. So, let's raid. See, I see Joe and Eris, but no Dan. I think we can raid Joe. Uh, I think we haven't raided him in a while, because I think he wasn't around the last week or two. When, when we've tried to raid into them. So let's raid Joe. They are playing Dinkum. Um, and it's their Thursday uh, togetherness. Thursday team togetherness trial turmoil thing. Um, so let's raid them. And then, uh, oh, I guess Dan was playing. Oh, no, they're wrapping up. Wait a minute, they're wrapping up? Looks like they're wrapping up. Yeah, they're wrapping up. So never mind, we won't raid them. Let's raid, um... Let's raid Dental Floss. He's playing played up. Alright, so thank you guys for coming and hanging out with me. This is, um, this is gonna get big. This is gonna get real big. I wasn't expecting this. So we're gonna have to think about this and, and do some... Do some, you know... Do some decent planning before we get get going too crazy here. So uh, we'll be back again on Saturday for that. In the meantime, stop by Discord. Join us on join us tomorrow night for Community Game Night. Lana, Jeff, and I usually are there hosting. Sometimes Caladorn, and we just play games that are cheap or free to play. Most of the time, free. And they're easy to jump into. You don't have to really uh, have played with us before or anything like that. So come and join us for that stuff. And then also uh, Sunday is Sunday Shenanigans with the aforementioned Lana and Jeff. Uh, usually IT, sometimes some other folks. Uh, depending on what we play, we'll probably be back in uh, Dinkum. Although maybe not, because Jeff is away this week. So we may or may not play Dinkum. Um, we'll see what goes on. If IT's here, maybe we may play. If not, we may do some, Lana and I may do something different. Uh, last week, Jeff and I did on Rails. So that was kind of fun. Uh, maybe we could do that again. Uh, Lana and I can, that is. We can see. But uh, let's see what um, uh, let's see what Dental Floss is up to with Oma in um, in played up. So thank you guys for coming tonight. Thanks again for the raid, uh, Big Wolf Chris, and uh, thank you all for the chats and the redeems and for hanging out with me. And I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.